say. I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked. I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long. <laughs> it's a situation that I considered private. You just feel like it ain't really nobody, no, nobody's, nobody's business. Nobody's business, yeah, but. Yeah. But now black Twitter has claimed <laughs> it as their business. <laughs> but, you know, I. I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a relationship. Absolutely. I was in a lot of pain and I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And luckily enough, you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say we did everything that we could to get away from each other, only mm -hmm. to realize that that mm -hmm. wasn't possible. So, so what happened, Jada? Okay, so let's start with, I guess about four and a half years ago. Yeah, started a, there. I think it was about four and a half, four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, started a friendship with August. Mm -hmm. And we actually became really, really good friends. Mm -hmm. And it all started with him just needing some help. Mm -hmm. You know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Because for know? me, that was the thing when I when um, when Aug first came around, he was he was really, really sick. sick. He was really, you know? really sick. Yeah. And the outpouring for him from our family was uh, initially about his health. Yeah. And I mean, we found all those different resources, mm -hmm. you know, to help pull him through. Mm -hmm. And from there, you know, you and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided- I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Yeah. <laughs> We Marriages have that, though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, mm -hmm. we broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time, and you go figure out how to make yourself happy, and I'll figure out how to make myself happy. Well, at that particular point in time, it was indefinite. Yeah, I really felt like we could be over. You yeah, know? no, and, we were over. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there... You know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement mm -hmm. with August. I One launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August. What do you feel like um, you were looking for? I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. Yeah. And it was really a joy to just help heal somebody. Yeah. I think that has a lot to do with my codependency, which is another thing that I had to learn to break in this cycle, just mm -hmm. that idea of needing to fix and being drawn to people that need help, whether it's your health or whether it's your addictions. Mm -hmm. There's something about that childhood trauma mm -hmm. um, that feels as though it can be fixed through fixing people mm -hmm. versus fixing me. Yeah. And I think that that whole process with Aug really showed me that mm -hmm. and taught me that. And I'm really grateful for that lesson. Because I wasn't sure I was ever going to speak to you again. I know, I know. Yeah, like the fact that I'm speaking to you again <laughs> is, a, is a miracle. Um. <laughs> I would agree. I would agree. No, but it ain't for the weak at heart. There's just certain things that you have to go through, and it's like... And I wish, you know, I wish that wasn't the case. <laughs> I do. I Absolutely. wish yeah, that I'm wasn't sure. the hey, case. I sure wish it could be all magic and miracles. Yeah. You got to go through some to get the answers, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm just happy, because I definitely believe that you and I, we never, ever, ever thought that we would make yeah, it back. That, yeah, there's a real power in the just knowing somebody's riding with you no matter what. Yeah. 
and you really can't know that until you go until through, some- through some stuff, you know. I don't want to go through this no more. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. either. Yeah. I'm going to get you back first, and then... You're going to get me back. I think you've gotten me back. <laughs> I think you've... <laughs> I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> okay, that might, that's probably true. That's you know, true. Um, and I don't think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me it is. Okay. Um, I'll give you that petty <laughs> if that's what you want. <laughs> uh, um, but, you know, I will definitely say mm-hmm. it's just part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. <laughs> 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 That's terrible. It's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, it's just part of the journey. I told you the first year we were, were married. What'd you tell me? That I can love you through anything. And I didn't believe you. Yeah. If somebody looked through a crystal ball and said, this, 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 and this is going to happen, I'd be like, mm-hmm. no way. Yeah. You thought I was that, that I didn't have the girth that it was going to take to ride with I you didn't, through. Yeah. I didn't know if you would be willing to find the deep capacity to love me. Yeah. How am I doing? You're doing great. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah. You're awesome. <laughs>